Okay, COP, are you ready? Yeah. 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 Here's the news. Hello, CLB, and welcome to this week's edition of the CLB News Team. Here's happening with this week. Hey, sports fans. This is your sports reporter, Brad Cook, from the CLB News Team. We begin with the NBA Finals tied between the Miami Heat and Denver Nuggets. Game three is in South Beach. You can watch that game on Sportsnet. Also, tonight, Game 2 of the Stanley Cup Finals goes down in Sin City. You can watch that game on Sportsnet as well. In tennis, the Roland Garros is on. So you can watch your favorite tennis players on TSN. And finally, the Blue Jays face the Houston, we don't have the problem Astros. You can watch the, the Jays take on the Houston Astros on Sportsnet 1. Before I end my report today, this Friday is going to be a special Friday for all you Transformers fans out there because this Friday night is the debut of the Transformers Rise of the Beast. And I've seen the trailer for the movie and it's fantastic. So if you haven't seen the trailer yet, go to youtube.com, search up, search up Transformers Rise of the Beast trailer and it'll be there. And if you want to see the movie on Friday night, go, you can go and buy tickets at any theater, it appears. This has been your sports update. I'm Brad Cook from the CLB News Team. Signing off. Now, John, Sarah, David, Chris, Jeff, and Brad. Transform and roll out. Hi, everyone. I am Sarah C at CLB News Team. For the sports that are coming up is... Sarah D. Goon the Fifth. Then we have Laura D. Goon, Goon the Sixth. Angela F. Goon the Tenth. Alice A. Goon the Tenth. Caparella Goon, Goon the Eleventh. Then we have Glenn L. Goon the Twelfth. Then my tips for the three. It's going to be, when you wake up in the morning, have a small little stretch in the morning, because it really helps to wake up. And also, have some wild first in the morning, and just, just some exercise or dance, do that kind of thing in the morning. If you like to, or in the afternoon, I am Sarah, and I'm signing off. Hi, CLB News Team people. Uh, today I'm going to be telling you about the author Judy Bloom. Judy Bloom is an American author. She writes children's, youth, young adult, and adult fiction books. She began writing in 1959, writing more than 25 books. Judith Sussman, her maiden name, was born on February 12, 1939. Judy has won many awards for her writings, which include American Library Association Award. Bloom's books as are popular and widely admired, but there is there has been lots of criticism and controversy 
for her novels, for her. There are even people that want to see her books banned because of the topics that she writes about in her books. Bloom was married to John M. John M. Bloom from 1959 and divorced in 1975. She is now married to George Cooper, who Jenny Bloom married in 1987. She has a son and daughter from her first marriage. I have read a few of the French books when I was younger. They were a lot of fun to read. She has sold about 82 million copies of her books and they have been translated into 32 languages. Some of the most popular Judy Bloom books are Tales of Fourth Grade Nothing that was written in 1972, Blubber which was written in 1974, Super Fudge that was written in 1980, Fudge a Mania which was written in 1990, and Double Fudge that was written in 2002. Are, are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. That was written in 1970. I will write more about this story next week once I see the movie about the book. I am currently reading the book. Tiger Eyes, that was written in 1989 and made into a movie in 2012, just as long as we're together, that was published in 1987. Here's to you, Rachel Robinson, that was written in 1993. Judy Bloom is now 85 years old and going strong. She helped produce a movie that came out in April to the theaters. She has also come out with a documentary called Judy Bloom Forever on Amazon Prime. That came out in April of this year as well. For CLB News Team, this is Jeff H. signing off. Hello CLB and hello Warframe fans. Um, I'm Chris Safford, also known as 37 Dark Shadow on Warframe. Today I'm going to be talking about the, the Railjack. The Railjack is a, a ship that you can get in a mission known as <laughs> Rising Tide. If you played up at the game till now, till where, to where I'm at right now, you can actually go into a mission known as the New War. And the New War, you need three, no, you need two things. You need the, the Necromech and you need the Railjack. Now the Railjack, that's the vital, that's the vital thing you need because the most of the things you're going to be fighting in this mission are, I believe it's the uh, the Grenier and the Corpus. They're fighting against each other and you have to pick a side. And and you also get to fight against the Sentinels too. And you find out what they what their ships look like as well. So the Warjack has three attributes. It has a tactical attribute, a piloting attribute, uh, an engineering attribute, and a command attribute. Tactical is what you tell your you tell your crew, and you once you hire a crew, you can hire up to four people, or actually five people if you cut your, if you cut yourself. You can you can have your crew pilot the railjack, uh, operate the guns on the railjack, be an engineer on the railjack, and then have another one be with you as your second in command. Depending on who you hire, one is strong against piloting, another strong against, is against gunning, another strong is against um, engineering, and another strong is against being with, by your side, defending the ship, and going with you when you do the missions. And once um, once you get your railjack, you have the ability to, to go and do space missions. The railjack 
puts us into another game known as Elite Dangerous. And basically, I've spoken about Elite Dangerous before, and um, and if you notice the similarities on uh, notice the similarities of Warframe with Elite Dangerous with the Whale Jack, you basically see you basically see what it is, and and how it and how it operates. Go do the Rising Time mission, get the Rail Jack, do do the do those do those missions where you face up against the Corpus, the the Grenier, and there's also an, another another uh, an enemy too that you can face as well. But that's way into way later when you when you get your attributes up. And until next week, I'll 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 spotlight a game that finally got remade for the Switch, and I'm so happy. I can't believe it, but I'll give you I'll give you a little hint of what the game is. And I'll, I'm not gonna tell you what the game is, but I'll hum you the theme song. Basically, it goes like this. That's the game. So until next week, this is Chris Apper signing off, and I'll be spotlighting that game next week. Until next week, this is Chris Apper signing off. Peace. Hey there, this is your Weather with Dave, and this is what's happening this week. On Monday, June 5th, we're going to have some sun and clouds. And at night, more clouds. On Tuesday, June 6th, we're going to have some sun and clouds. And at night, more clouds. On Wednesday, June 7th, we're going to have some more sun and clouds. And at night, more clouds. On Thursday, June 8th, we're going to have some sun and clouds with some showers. And at night, we're going to have clouds. On Friday, June 9th, we're going to have some sun and clouds. And at night, more clouds. Here's your weekend. On Saturday, June 10th, we're going to have some sun and clouds. And at night, we're going to have some showers. On Sunday, June 11th, we're going to have some rain. And it's going to continue all the way through the night. This has been your Weather with Dave. Remember, stay safe. Okay, so thank you for watching CLB uh, for the CLB News Team. Um, for all of us at the CLB News Team, I hope you have guys have a great week. And until next week, this is uh, this is this is the CLB News Team signing off. Peace.